In this tutorial, we'll be talking about GTO Plus. We'll cover how to load a database simulation into the GTO Plus viewer, and then navigate that simulation using the tree navigation system in GTO Plus. So here I've got one of the Zenith Poker simulation databases that you can download from the Zenith Poker website. You've got the dry rag boards um, in a two-bit pot spot between the big blind and the button. So that's the, the naming system there. So I've, I've opened this up and it brings me to this page. If you're new to GTO Plus, there's a lot of different buttons that you can press, but let's get started by loading in a single flop that we want to look at. So most of the most of the databases that you can download from the Zenith Poker website are a block of multiple flops that you can look at and compare. So to get to a flop that you want to look at, you click over here on the database. Um, and under this database tab, you click the display results in a graph. And that will bring you to this page, which has the different flops that this database contains. So you can see in this file, in this dryrag.gto file, I've got 15 flops and it shows me all the flops that I can look at. And uh, I've got all the data related to those flops in particular. So say, for example, I want to look at the ace queen six. So what I do is all I have to do is double click on the ace queen six. And now that loads this flop and all of its associated data into the viewer. And I can see the borders change over here to the ace queen six. Now I want to look at the tree. I want to see if I can navigate through the tree on this board. I know this is a single race pot because that's um, basically what this information is, has told me. On the top here, this, this top panel is the tree navigator. So the tree navigator will tell me where I am in the game tree. So let's start at the first node. So on the top left where it says one, I can just click that, click or double click that, and it shows me the first panel. So this first panel is the first action in the entire tree. Now here the out of position player, the big blind, only has the option to check. The reason why we've only given them the option to check um, is because of how the simulation itself was constructed. But um, depending on how you construct your sims, you might have more options for the out of position player. So here we've got the first action is just to check for the out of position player. So player one is out of position and the player two is in position. So that's easy to remember. So we can just click and that moves to that next node in the tree. So we can just click check. And now it moves to this part of the tree. So it's still looking up here. We click check and now it's on player two. All right, so we're at this second node in the tree where player two is now left to act. Now here, player two has got five options, okay? They've got the option to bet 11, bet 5.5, bet 2.75, bet 1.38, or check. Now, basically, in order to navigate through the game tree, we can just click on any of the options for player two. Let's say I wanna look at what happens when player two bets 1.38. So if they want, if I want to look at when they bet 1.38, all I have to do is click on the bet 1.38. And now that shows me the options for player one. Now player one, the out of position player, has to respond to this bet of 1.38. And they've got a few different options on in terms of how they can play. They can raise to 9.36, sorry, 9.63. They can raise to 5.5. They can call or they can fold. All right. Now, let's say, so it's gone bet, uh, so it's gone check for the out of position player, bet for the in position player, and now the out of position player. Let's say I want to call and then see a turn. So if I, if I want to call, all I have to do is press call, all right? Now, the issue is that if, if you do press call with this here, this two of hearts symbol here, that will just bring up the two of hearts with a turn. 
If instead I want to look at a different turn, all I have to do is click on the tool heart symbol or I have to click on that turn card. So I click on that turn card and it shows up all the possible turn cards that, that you can use, all right? You can see that the Ace of Clubs, the Queen of Diamonds and the Six of Spades is grayed out because those are on the flop. So let's say I want to look at the Ten of Clubs as the turn card. All I have to do is click on the Ten of Clubs. So I click on it. So then I can see in this top panel that on the flop, it went bet, sorry, it went check for the out of position player, bet for the in position player, and then call for the out of position player. And then the turn was the Ten of Clubs. And now on this second panel here, I've got the turn action. All right, the out of position player, after they've called and the turn is the Ten of Clubs, now has all of these options to choose from. All right. So let's say I want to see what happens when the out of position player bets 2.06. So I can just click bet 2.06. And you can do the same thing, all right? Let's say the in position player now calls, all right? And I want to see a river. So if I want to pick the river, I have to click on this two of heart symbol to change the river. Um, so I just click on that. And now I pick the river card. Let's say the river is, instead of the two of hearts, let's say it's the three of clubs. All right, and there you go. You've got the river action now. So this first block up the top was the flop action. The second block was the turn action. And then this third block here is the river action. So it's fairly easy to see. Let's say it goes check. All right, and then got lots of options for, for, for both players. Now let's, let's say that I'm, I'm done looking at this, this run out of the 10 of clubs for the turn and then the three of clubs for the river. And I want to look at what happens if the turn was instead um, the, the, the King of Spades, for example. I don't have to go back. All I have to do is just click right here on the Ten of Clubs. And now I can change that to the King of Spades. And that immediately brings me to back to the turn, where the turn is the King of Spades. Okay? So it's very easy to, to navigate through this. Um, you can select which turn you want by just selecting the card. And you can jump through and click on the different actions in the tree to navigate through the tree. All right, as long as you can read what's going on. Um, here on the turn, I've selected check for the out of position player and bet 8.25 for the in position player. Now, let's say I want to change the flop action. Instead of, uh, instead of looking at the bet of 1.38, I want to look at a different bet for the in position player. So all I have to do is just click on the two, and that brings me all the way back to that node. All right, and now I can change my decision about what, what part of the tree that I want to look at. Let's say instead now I want to look at the bet of 11, I can just click bet 11. All right, and now that brings me to this action where it goes check for the out of position player, bet 11 for the in position player, and now it's on the out of position player to decide what to do. All right, let's say for example they call and I want to look at the three of spades. Then I click on the king of spades there and I change it to the three of spades. Now that brings me to this part of the tree where I've gone on the flop, check, bet 11 for the, for the imposition player and then call. And now the turn is the three of spades. All right, and now I've got the out of position, um, the actions for the out of position player here on the turn. So it's fairly easy to navigate. You just click through, see what, um, what actions you want to look at. As long as you can read the, the actions from left to right, that tells you exactly what's happened in the hand. Okay, so we've covered how to open up a flop using the database. So you're going to go to the database section, and then you double click on a flop. And then you can navigate through the tree by clicking through and selecting different turns and rivers that you want to look at. And you can see all the information from, um, involved with the tree data in this top panel here. Thanks very much.